As China confronts the fight against COVID-19, a lot of the battle is taking place in labs like this one. Not only diagnosis for sick or suspected patients, but companies are also racing to develop new tests and new tools to fight the virus. This lab belongs to Shanghai-based genetic testing startup MS Gene, and they're currently waiting on government approval for a test that the team here has developed to detect COVID-19 carriers and patients. And to find out a bit more about it, I'm joined by MS Gene's chief scientist, Xin Huang. Thanks for joining us. So explain to us, how does this test work for patients? Okay, so because each, each uh, organism here has its own specific DNA sequence or RNA sequence, then we use a technology called PCR, polymerase chain reaction, you know, uh, to amplify the sequence uh, millions or tens of millions of times. So for the instrumentation, can detect it in a signal, you know, specific signal, only specific for the coronavirus 2019. So that's uh, basically the concept of tests. And uh, in the past uh, two weeks, we've been working full time. Essentially, we uh, gave up our uh, 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 rest time, you know, for the uh, traditional Chinese holiday, right? We, everybody comes back to the company for uh, developing the tests. And now finally, we have these tests, and now we are uh, doing the clinical trials, trying to push it to the market and also uh, regulatory approval. So how does it work? What kind of sample do you need from a patient? Uh, basically, we can use uh, um, a throat the sampling from the, which we use this, you know, to collect. Basically, it's a cotton swab or other swab on your throat to collect your uh, mucus or the uh, cell samples which are infected by the virus. Or we can use blood. And from the sampling to report, our test can get it done in 1.5 hours. So it's one, one hour, 30 minutes, you know, yeah. And can you test more than one sample at a time? Uh, or? Absolutely. So our format, uh, we have two formats, you know. One is called real-time or qPCR, you know. And our format is called digital PCR, uh, called DDPCR. So for the uh, real-time PCR format, it's more uh, high throughput. So it, each time you can detect, theoretically, you can detect 96 samples. However, for our digital PCR platform, we can detect eight or 10 samples each batch. So the throughput is lower. However, there's a trade-off for lower throughput, but it has much higher sensitivity than the, uh, the real-time PCR. That's why we are developing both platforms, you know. Yeah. And uh, how long do you expect regulatory approval to take uh, for this test? Um, because uh, the Chinese government has an uh, emergency approval process in place right now. Uh, theoretically, in the first batch of the tests, which has been approved on the market, uh, from uh, there are like six companies, seven different tests. Uh, there, they took about four to four days to seven days. For us, you know, we hope our tests will get approved you know, in about a month because now the criteria is getting uh, more stringent. You know, that it takes longer to get approval, yes. But the digital PCR unique advantage for that platform is it's really the most sensitive nuclear acid detection technology existing uh, right now as we're speaking. So that's why we are also focused on that platform as well. And what about the future? Can this test be easily repurposed to detect uh, maybe a future outbreak or a mutation of the virus or even a different type of coronavirus in the future? Uh, absolutely. You know, I mean, I think a, uh, this platform is, is, that's why I call it a platform. You know, it can be easily transferable to detect different pathogens. You know, let's say for the influ flu influenza virus or other like SARS virus, you know, and any of the emerging virus, as long as we know the sequence of the virus, we can design the specific tests for them. While R&D labs like this one are developing tests for the virus, doctors and researchers elsewhere are testing potential treatments. Being able to quickly and reliably identify COVID-19 patients is essential for containing the virus's spread in the short term, as the experts working on a vaccine say that kind of protection is still a long way off.